Hello, everybody. Uh, today, uh, I will explain uh, the uh, sharp crested waves, they were. Um, they are uh, different types of waves. Um, OG uh, crested wave, broad crested wave, we showed before uh, in the previous experiments we uh, indicated this. And at this time, uh, we will use sharp crested waves. There are different types of uh, sharp crested waves, for example, um, triangle or, um, uh, or uh, trapezoidal or rectangular. And uh, why we need these waves? These structures uh, are used for measuring uh, flow rate or discharge in open, can open channels. Uh, and um, measuring flow rate is very important in water resources management, okay? Now uh, I will uh, switch on to start the experiment and I will start pump again. And uh, I will uh, adjust the uh, flow rate for this shaft while moving this one down. And also rotimeter. While I use the rotimeter, I, will, uh, I can change or I can adjust the amount of water. Now the water is the water is four cubic meters per hour. Now here you can see the flow over there, sharp crest is here. Okay, and here as you see. There is a cleaning net, cleaning net, and uh, this net, this net, cause uh, vacuum here and make make our dimension to the wave. So we do not prefer this type of net. So we need aeration here. We, we, we prefer um, free net. Free net means uh, aeration we need it here. We need some air here. How can we provide this? We can provide this by aeration tips, as you see. Also, you can see there are some aeration force on the way. So, using these pipes, we can add air here, and then uh, we will see, we will observe free net. Okay? Now, I will increase this charge a little more. Okay? Now, this charge is 5 uh, cubic meters per hour. Okay. Now you can see better the cleaning here. Okay, I will use this pipe. Okay, now now I will uh, open this pipe from this hole to produce air here. Okay. Now you can see I uh, open this pipe as you see, and now you can see the air here. Now you can see cleaner, and there is no bottom. And there is no demand here, as you see, not to no obey. There is no demand here. Okay, you see now. Also, we can increase the air amount over this amount. So we can increase it by blowing this pipe. As you see. And then make vacuum. Okay, I am getting air or removing the air by now increasing the air and decreasing. So I am cleaning the water. Okay, this is very enjoying. Everyone can do this. I suggest you. Okay. Okay. Now you saw this. Okay. Now uh, we can see. Also, I will show again like this. Yes. That's me. I'm using uh, the air. Very clean, very clean. Now you can observe. Also, I do it. Again, here you see, actually, it moves to upstream. Anyway, we can explain the supercritical flow and the transition section. And after that, it will get into the subcritical flow. 
add no force, you can see that is high potential energy, energy is high, but kinetic energy is low. Here, kinetic energy is very high and potential energy, energy is very low. Okay, now we will, uh, we will start with regular shock wave. Uh, okay, now uh, we will observe um, triangular uh, shock crystal wave. Uh, how it works now? I will open it. Now, what is what to be better for our? What is I need to be better for our? Now, flow rate is one cubic meter per hour. Okay, now our wave will fall. Okay, now you can see. And there is a free net. You can see free net. Every time this, in this, in this type of waves, uh, free net, you can observe free net. Okay, because uh, it gets in the air from the sides, these sides. And uh, these such waves are used for usually discharge. We said this before. Uh, how it can be calculated? Uh, first, by experiments, you need to determine or identify the discharge coefficient of this wave. Each wave has its own discharge coefficient. And uh, how it be calculated. You can try different discharges and you can get different uh, wave head. Wave head means uh, the water depth of the wave. And uh, you can obtain this head by subtracting the head of the wave from the, this head. This head, water depth uh, in the upstream water depth. You're using these two uh, depth, you can calculate wave depth. And using discharge also, you can obtain uh, wave coefficient. And then after obtaining this coefficient, you can easily measure discharge by using wave head and discharge coefficient. Okay? These are useful uh, for measuring uh, discharge. Yes. Now also, we can show the wave Hydraulic subtract, hydraulic channel. Maybe this is this is this is uh, a little bit um, narrow one. A small one you can use, a little bit high, so now we need to stop it. Okay, so we can increase the stopping. And also we can increase the slope. Okay, you can now you will observe the hydraulic channel.